Everyone wants to be rich. A part of being rich is always keeping in mind quality over substance. Some people buy a fake Gucci handbag because they want the look of the handbag. But I want the quality that goes into the Gucci handbag. But the sad part is, I only buy one Gucci handbag and keep it forever. So I have a house full of old, expensive, out-of-style stuff. While everyone else has shiny pots and pans, I have sturdy pots and pans with lifetime guarantees. But not everyone wants to be to put in the work to be rich. They want the simple thing to get rich. There are a few lucky people that luck into being rich. Those are lottery winners, not entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs get lucky by working 20 years from the age of 12, 13, and all of a sudden, someone discovers them and buys their company. It's not luck, is it? So many videos talking about easy, fast, simple, three steps. But those videos are simply there to get you to buy their books or watch their videos or go to their conference to make them rich. It doesn't take 50 years, but if you do a casual look at the age of just millionaires, you'll find that they're all old men. This is why Fortune Magazine has a millionaire before 30 issue because it's so rare. Here's a kicker to that. All of you 40 plus year olds, you're in a better position to become rich than the younger men. Why? Because your 40 plus years can be wrapped up and set you on the road to become rich. That life experience is actually worth millions. And you just haven't been told that. You want to see that in action? Just look up stories of 40 plus year olds who went millionaire in a few months after first entering business. It's because you people already know when somebody is trying to pull the wool over your eyes or pull something over on you. And it just doesn't work on you because you have life experience. So what's the truth about being an entrepreneur? It's lonely, hard work, requires a ton of patience. And sometimes, even when all of that is perfect, you still fail and lose millions of your own money. And sometimes, millions of someone else's money. Those lessons are expensive, but necessary. Here's something funny. If you want to trade stock, they tell you, Set aside $100,000 for your first year and be prepared to lose all of it that first year. They already prepare you to make it a very expensive schooling. And here's what's crazy about that $100,000. It vanishes. No one else wins it unless you're handing over that money to someone that's scamming you. It goes poof into thin air and you have to tell yourself lesson learned think of that as an entrepreneur when you go into business and it fails poof lesson learned government now is a terrible burden on you as an entrepreneur government mostly tries to protect other businesses from going out of business and keep you out of business Think about this. Some businesses cost billions just to start. How many of you listening to my voice have billions with an S at the end? And that's just to start the business. Everyone hears about such and so started a business in his garage. Guess what? Such and so wants to make sure no one else can start that same business in their garage and compete against him. So, all of his suppliers, his manufacturers, his salesmen, his middlemen, all make sure you have to pay them millions before 
you can start your business. I'm not trying to discourage you, I'm trying to give you the truth. So many speech makers tell you how easy it is. It's easy to make a million. But it's how you go about it that can be hard. Figuring out how to go about it is the million dollar question. Here's the sad news. Being an entrepreneur sometimes comes at the cost of very real health impacts. Lack of sleep, long hours, frustration, lack of eating, lack of exercise. An entrepreneur might wake up in the middle of the night with an idea and work all night and all day on it just because he had an idea. Now, if that weren't enough, he might be a serial entrepreneur. He starts a business over and over and over and over. And some might fail, some might be successful. He's not interested in the business. He's interested in starting it. If it's successful, he sells it, makes millions, he moves on to the next business. Can you do all of this? Can you sacrifice yourself? Can you put in the hard work, real hard work? And, you, and can you find a wife that'll put up with all of that? Trust me, you need a wife. And you ladies listening to me, you need to be understanding. Your man might not hit it big until he's 50. It doesn't matter how your life was before that, because at 50 you'll be sipping on single malt whiskey and lounging on the porch. With the grandkids, you can put through school without paying a penny saved up. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show, and I hope this is encouraging to you and eye-opening of what it really takes to be an entrepreneur. So many people are looking for the quick, give me that quick, give me that quick, give me that quick, give me the easy, give me the easy. No, it's not that. Like I said, take a look at the a list of the millionaires. Mostly over 40. Now, I'm assuming that this is why so many of you are over 40 and who are subscribed to me because you saw my other videos where I went into financial education and encouragement and talking about business and giving you business news and you're over 40 you might not be good for me as far as YouTube is concerned but you do listen and watch my financial videos that's fantastic at one point I was the number two uh, largest older audience and I was actually given an award for that that's fantastic but YouTube really wants the younger crowd I can't be stupid somebody says I need to be more stupid I can't I just can't be stupid and I tell my friends I just cannot be stupid and those people who are my considered friends go yeah I get it I can't be stupid either. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I can't be stupid either. But I'm trying to encourage you. Can, if you put in the work, if you do your research, everything is about research, research, research. Everybody says, start a business. Just start now. That doesn't make sense. Uh, I want to open up a, a biochemical uh, laboratory. I'm going to just start now. I'm just going to start now. What kind of logic does that make? No. I want you, I'm bringing you the other message. Research, 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 so that when you strike that hammer, it takes off. When you strike that hammer, it takes off. And I want you to set a date of when you're going to strike that hammer. But I want, you to be, I want you to know more about that business than anybody that you know. That's, this is how I conduct my research for making uh, most of my uh, videos that I do on the news. I research, 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 and then I do the news. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, share the video. I know you don't understand sharing, but click the share button. Pick something that, that that's on the list of sharing. And there you have it.
if you help me, I can help you more. And for those of you who want to uh, donate to the charity about the uh, scholarship, uh, I will get you that information. Uh, people already started asking me immediately, started asking me. It's a nonprofit, so uh, you can donate to it and get your uh, tax deductions from that. Uh, all right, I'll get you all of that information if you contact me. Thank you all for watching. The channel is going to go dead. Uh, a lot of that other stuff. The channel is going to go dead because nobody's liking the videos. Nobody's watching the videos. Nobody's liking the videos. And uh, YouTube algorithm, and if you don't like the video, they literally stop the video from going out. Completely stop it. I'm already in the blacklist, but when you don't like the video, it, does, it, it really just catches up and says, okay, nobody's liking the video. Let's stop it. So, I'm, now I'm trying to make two, three, uh, I'll get up to ten, video, if, if, I'll, uh, if I'll do it, I'll get up to ten videos a day, and then your uh, inbox will be flooded with my videos, but then you people don't like it. And then the, one of the people said, I don't understand why people don't like it. I was like, what are they, hide, what are they holding back for, for information that's free? I say, uh, uh, me no, no, I don't know, me no, no, me no comprendo. And they have to avoid the like button to get to anywhere else. To get to anywhere else, you have to avoid the like button. Thank you all for watching. Like the video, share the video. Otherwise, there won't be a channel. If you don't like the video, there won't be a channel. Uh, probably within a few weeks. Thank you all for... Uh, there's other people who have already... I mean, big, big, big YouTubers who have already left. Thank you all for watching.